talking about reworking its quarterback position. You talk about the AFC being stacked, not just the AFC North. Josh Allen has restructured mm-hmm. his contract to open up like $17 million. Right, Way to go, go, Josh. Go, Josh. Way to go, Josh. And we will continue as former players to make the player look like a real hero in this. Uh, <laughs> but all that's really happening here yeah. is he's getting the money he's supposed to get over 12 months on one day. So, <laughs> what a hero. This guy's awesome. Thank you, Josh, <laughs> for doing that. Way to look out for your teammates. Jalen, Ra- Jalen Ramsey's, uh, did you see Jalen Ramsey's I- IG post? He no. goes, Dolphin, because he did a restructure or whatever. And he said, Fin fam, I love you, but this is not a pay cut. I'm I'm just getting my money right now. Yeah, that which is what's been happening since the beginning of the salary cap gymnastics where you move salary and convert it into a signing bonus so you can prorate it over the rest of the contract so that your salary cap hit isn't as big. Tom Brady and Bill Belichick have been doing this for a long time. Yep. Tom Brady was like, this guy's a hero. Look at him changing his salary into a signing cap. It's like, he just got $25 million on a Tuesday yeah. mm-hmm. as opposed to $25 million over 17 weeks. But hey, good on him for being able to do it. Mm-hmm. Bean obviously is had to make a lot of moves for the Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen's their quarterback, so they're still in a window, right? Everybody's talking uh, on TV whenever they do that, you know, doomsday where they cut everybody that we're friends with on their team pretty much and kick them out of the building. Von Miller restructures down to less money than what he was guaranteed on his previous contract, like real team type move. Now Josh Allen restructures and they had to make some plays to get under the salary cap, which has to be due by tomorrow at 4 p.m. Do you think this is still a wide open window with how tough this AFC is? I mean, Baltimore just had a Derrick Henry. Yeah. They're their team. So Baltimore's going to be hunting one. Lamar Jackson seemingly obsessed with winning at Mm -hmm. this point, and that's why he goes out after signing the biggest deal that he negotiated himself and has his best year. But it's like AFC is only getting more difficult. Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Spagnuolo, Andy Reid, all still back in Kansas City, and the Bills are going to look vastly different. How do you feel about them? Where's the confidence gauge of the old Buffalo Bills going forward? I mean, as long as Josh Allen is pulling the trigger, they should absolutely still feel really good about what they're doing. Now, yeah, you have to make all these moves. You have to get under the cap. You got to do all this. But no, Josh Allen is there. The window is fully open, I believe. I think so, too. Now, is it open enough to win a Super Bowl? That's which is all the conversations we always have in the offseason. We're talking like as if a team can win a Super Bowl. And then we get into a season where like eight games in and like half the teams go. Our team can't win a Super Bowl. Everybody <laughs> can't get continue to get better. Like some teams are going to get worse, obviously. Yep. Yeah, but also you see other teams and you're like, ah, when push comes to shove, if this is the AFC Championship game, that team is going to. We are not. Our team. They, yes. We are not the same as that team. Yeah, yeah. Are, are, yeah. We, are we still having that conversation about yeah. the Buffalo Bills right now, just because they have Josh Allen? I yeah. think so, right? I, I think so. No, Vegas thinks so. They are. They're third in the AFC between behind the Chiefs and the Ravens, and they're fo- fourth to win the Super Bowl. We're- 